Is it on? Yeah. Okay, so really quickly, we said we're gonna get Jessica back, some form of prank. We thought we'd start it small, so the old flower in the shower. Let's give this a go. Drop it. Welcome back to another vlog. So, today, we've got a few things to talk about. It's actually, um, mayhem in my mind at the moment. So, first off, we're going out to the doctors to see about this. I'm so sick of it. In previous videos, like, I've gone back two years and I still have, I've had this or on that side. And it's really affected me. I'm really self-conscious of it. I don't like it and I don't know what it is. I've tried everything. I have literally tried... Uh, creams, uh, Clearacel, uh, you name it, I've tried it. So anyway, we're off to the doctor to see about that. I also need to ask the doctor about, um, some medical stuff. Mainly because I, I got a job, um, the other day. I didn't tell you guys, I got approved to, for a job out at Hillwood, um, berry picking. Now this is all exciting and wonderful and woohoo go me, I got a job, but berry picking is a very, very uh, laborious job. It's very um, hard on the body and I need to kind of uh, get a medical clearance, not necessarily a medical clearance, but just as some advice on whether or not I should do it. I applied on a whim just, just because. Uh, my medical certificate got rejected from Centrelink, right there. Um, so I I applied on a whim just to uh, see if I'll get anywhere, and I actually got somewhere with it. So I'm excited about it, but I'm also nervous about it in the sense that I don't know how my body is going to handle five days of laborious work. Now, if you guys know what. Um, my oh, body daddy. is like. Yeah, daddy was doing his hair. Yeah, I was doing my hair. I may look fine on the outside. Um, you you would have seen me do yard work and everything with pop and and do everything like that. But I don't know how my body is going to hold up for five days a week, every single day. Ah, uh, massive labouring work. Um, I have this to consider. My bruised. This is this is a, as a result of my bad circulation, right? So I can't stand on these bad boys for a long period of time. This leg, not so bad, but still is quite bad. I've got this very big protruding vein underneath my leg. I know. I'm just showing you lots of bits and pieces about me today. Also have the medication I take in, take. Uh, to be, I also have that to um, be worried about because if I get cut, I bleed a lot. It's blood thinning medication. And then I've also got my heart to think about. So I still haven't signed to accept the job. I had three days to mull it over. So I'm going to go to the doctors and ask his advice. And so, yeah, that's what's happening today. Another thing that happened today is Stan Lee passed away, which sucks. And... <laughs> it was, it's not, not funny, but it was funny this morning. Emma woke me up with the news of it. Uh, she had to go out and said, by the way, Stan Lee died today. And I'm just like, whoa, whoa. I was halfway asleep, so I went to sleep thinking about Stan Lee dying. So it was kind of cool that he cameoed in my dream. So there you go. One last cameo to set it straight. So, um... Yeah, I was thinking about Stan Lee and he just appeared in my dream. And so that's really sad and it's really um, horrible that... But he had a really good innings, I suppose. I mean, he was 95 and he was just such a machine. But yeah, so that's, that's sad um, and horrible and I, 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 I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't really rave about celebrities dying that much, but when it's someone that's affected the industry and what I like on a daily basis, it kind of makes you think, oh, that sucks. That's horrible. <sighs> but yeah, um, another thing. Um, on Sunday, I went to see uh, 
Peter Jackson's new film, not Mortal Engines, but uh, his new film called They um, uh, God, what are they called? They Shall Not Grow Go Old. And it was on Remembrance Day, 100 years of uh, World War One, uh, from World War One. And um, seeing it on that day with my pop and nan and brother and sister-in-law was, it was one of the most powerful, insane, it, it, all emotions rolled into one film. It was just amazing. And what it is, is like Peter Jackson's taken these 100 year old footage of World War One, and he has put it to, uh, he's made it all kind of high definition in some so, some sort with colour and he's dubbed over sound effects and he's uh, got forensic lip readers in to, to see what the soldiers were saying. And so they've dubbed over all these voices and everything like that and it's also been told by the soldiers uh, stories uh, from when they came back from the war. And it is just so powerful. It makes you so angry and so mad when you hear someone complain about their rights getting taken away or you know they're, uh, they are offended. It's just like this film just makes you feel that why you why do I feel wet? <laughs> hey you little ah you get turd get daddy. Ah get I'll get you I was in the middle of telling them about that film Get away Ah Okay I'll, okay I'll go do my hair Okay 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 <laughs> Little turd well, I'll get you back. I'll get you back. No, don't, 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 don't. Pew! Pew! <laughs> <laughs> no, it goes up now. You got me, I got you. It's only fair. <sighs> so, yeah. Um, it makes you so angry that people of this generation complain about the most horrible, stupid, idiotic things that these... Bo these this, there's this one part of this film where um, this guy's talking um, about a story and he goes, um, although the, the war was quite gruesome and graphic, it was actually rather fun. Um, it was like a big camp out with the boys. And for that, for them to say that the war was fun after watching their, their friends and brothers and, and, and uh, comrades blown to smithereens, they didn't complain about anything. It was just like... Different generation. It's just like it. It, it, make, it puts it into into perspective of how lucky we all are, and it's just like it opened my eyes so massively that I want to show the kids this documentary so that they get this, the full effect. But it's so graphic. It, they they show multiples, uh, multiple multiple shots of dead bodies, and it's just it's quite gruesome and quite horrible. But that's war, right? War's ugly. So um, yeah, we have. So if you get a chance, go see that film, or if you see it on DVD or available for a um, digital download or something, see it. it. It'll change the way you look at war, it'll change the way you look at everything. It's just amazing. I cannot recommend anything more than that. Okay, so let's get ready, go to the doctors and see what he says. So, I'm back from the doctors and everything, and it looks like I'm going to have to... Uh, turn this job down um, my doctor he couldn't exactly say or recommend me turning the job down but he said he had a way of saying because he's he's not a doctor that can that can give that sort of advice but he gave it in a way that suggested that so if the doctor's saying that, and I've been doing thinking and everything like that, and I've been talking to M and my mum and everyone, and in the long scheme of things, it's a job that may may get me a little bit more money, and but to risk my health um, just for a little bit more money against uh, my doctor's better judgment, then it's probably not going to be the best fit for me with my heart condition and all the underlying health concerns I have. Uh, the, the main health concern is nothing to do with my heart condition, it's my legs. 
and you guys saw my legs and I can't stand um, for too long on my legs they add I just get in so much pain this is the thing with uh with uh, people with these sorts of conditions um, you look completely fine on the outside I look completely fine if you guys didn't know I had a didn't if I you guys didn't know I had a heart condition you guys wouldn't wouldn't know you you would think that I'm a normal 31 year old guy um, it's those sorts of things where I kind of like better get like I, I guess my uh, I better guess myself in, in the terms of I feel like I am lying to myself in a, in a way like you know uh, I know I had this condition and I know I have all these concerns and like underlying issues but I look normal and I look look like I am a fit young man and if I take a bench or take a back you know, saying, no, I can't do that. I feel like I'm, uh, I feel dirty. I feel weird. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a weird thing to, to talk about. It's, it's like, I can't, um, that there's, there's pushing through mental things and there's pushing through the boundaries of, of things that you're going for, but there is also limits on what you have to do and what you know that your body can take and for me it's like when I get make excuses like this or not necessarily excuses but I make these sorts of uh, accusations and everything like that to myself uh, I feel like I am people don't believe me and people think that I am just like going out of it because uh, or you know not trying to find work or anything like that uh, because I don't want to <laughs> and don't get me wrong I want to work so bad I want a job a stable job I would love to work in a in a uh, in retail in 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 the film industry I'd love to work in anything that that is enjoyable and that can get me a wage um, but it's just like the jobs that I go for that I, can, I know I can manage, they never come about. And then the job that I can't manage, that I apply for on a whim, comes about. And then against my doctor's better judgment, I can't do. So I'm going to have to email these guys now and say, thank you very much for your uh, time and, and uh, accepting me. But I'm going to have to turn this down. I got an appointment with a skin specialist as well. So this is going to get taken care of, um, which is great. So yeah, I'm going to email these guys and yeah, get back to you. But um, yeah, it's a bit frustrating. It really is. Um, but hey, that's life, I guess. Is it on? Yeah. Okay, so really quickly, we said we're going to get Jessica back. Some form of prank. I thought we'd start small, so the old flower in the shower. Let's give this a go. Turn yourself up for a second, it's gonna come in. Why? Why are you doing <laughs> Uh, yeah, she got a face full. <laughs> <Hey, sorry. laughs> that was pretty shitty high five, really. Still here. <laughs> okay. And this is just the beginning of the prank wall. <laughs> <That's me. laughs>